Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'll show you how to work with cell styles. As you see I have some data here and if I hand this out to people now it's very easy for them to just say that well I think April is going to be a bit higher than that so they'll just change the numbers here and that looks as if it's going to work, looks fine. But then you see if I change the prognosis here for the entire year and can make that 10% the 60,000 doesn't really change, all the others change, but so that's not a good thing. You want to make sure that we're, you know, discussing the same thing, has the same base values, so I only want people to change these two cells, the initial sale value and the growth pr uh, prognosis for this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, undo this change here. There we go. So now I'm back to, of course, having only a a formula in um, these cells. So what I want to do is go ahead and unlock these two cells, unlock the rest of the sheet. And all of the cells in a sheet is indeed locked by default. So if I right click on this and go into format cells, you'll notice that it is indeed locked. And I can of course just unlock this cell and then unlock the one up here. But instead I'm going to create a new cell style new cell style here and editing cells. And the only thing I want to define here is actually the lock and I want to make sure that these are indeed unlocked. So I'm going to uncheck that. Okay, so protection, no protection is what's defined in this style. So now I'm going to apply that style to these two cells. So I press the control key on the keyboard so that I can select both of these. And then now I apply the style here. And now if I check these cells and right click again, they should indeed be unlocked. Okay, that doesn't really make any difference until you actually lock the sheet. So I'm going to right click and lock the sheet or protect the sheet. And I usually don't put in a password because I want to protect against, you know, I want to make it simple to do the right thing. Um, but if they really want to change something, then of course uh, the password is not all that secure anyway. So, anyhow, now this is indeed locked, so I can change this. So I can change the initial value here, and that works just fine. And uh, but if I go in and change the value here that I like, tried to change before, you see it's locked. Of course, now that I have this, it might be good to give a visual cue to the users that these cells are indeed the ones that you should be editing and I'm going to unlock the sheet first or unprotect the sheet and then I'm going to go in and modify the cell style that I already started, modify that and now I can go and do the fill I'm going to put a fill in here and let's just make that a nice friendly green And there we go, those two cells that have that cell style applied now becomes that green. Again, I can protect the sheet. And of course, now I can tell my users, go ahead and change the green cells. Don't change anything else. Anything else, you get the protection. But if you change one of the green cells, then we can talk, right? So that's one of the uses that I've found with using cell styles. Thank you for watching this demonstration.